How to Know Yourself 10 Steps to Your Life Success Have you ever felt lost or unsure of who you really are and what you want in life? If so, you're not alone. According to research, 90% of people think they know themselves, but the shocking truth is that only 10% actually do. This means that the majority of people are living their lives on autopilot, not really aware of who they are or what they want out of life. We're so busy trying to be who we think others want us to be and doing what we think we should be doing. As a result, we end up living someone else's life instead of our own. In this video, we are going to show you how to get to know yourself in 10 proven steps so that you can start living your life on purpose. Once you know yourself, you can start working on becoming the best possible version of yourself. Hit the like button if you are excited and let's get started. Step 1. Know your personality type. Whether you realize it or not, you've been taking personality tests since you were a kid. Remember those questions in school that would ask how you prefer to spend your free time? Do you like being around people or being alone? Do you like trying new things or sticking to the familiar? Those questions were designed to help teachers understand how best to teach each student. And while your teachers may not have used the exact same terms, they were assessing your personality type. Knowing your personality type is important because it can give you insight into how you interact with the world and the people around you. It can also help you understand your strengths and weaknesses. There are tons of free online tests you can take to discover your personality type. All it takes is a simple Google search. Step 2. Understand your strengths and weaknesses. Many of us go through life without really knowing what we're good at. We just kind of float along doing the best we can. But if you want to be successful in life, it's important to understand your strengths and weaknesses. Your strengths are the things that come naturally to you. They're the things you enjoy doing and are usually pretty good at. On the other hand, your weaknesses are the things that don't come as naturally to you. They're the things you avoid because they're challenging or make you feel uncomfortable. Knowing your strengths and weaknesses can help you focus on the things that are most important to you and find ways to improve the areas where you're weaker. Do not be afraid to ask your friends and family for their honest opinion. They can often see our strengths and weaknesses better than we can ourselves. Step 3. Identify your passions and what makes you happy. Have you ever heard the saying, do what you love and you'll never work a day in your life? While that may not be entirely true, following your passions can definitely lead to a more fulfilling and happier life. Your passion is something that you're interested in and feel strongly about. It's something that motivates you and gets you excited. When you're passionate about something, it doesn't feel like work. It's something you enjoy doing and are usually pretty good at. For some people, their passion is something they've known since they were children. But for others, it takes a bit of soul-searching to figure out what they're passionate about. If you're not sure what your passions are, there are a few ways to figure it out. One way is to think about the things you enjoy doing in your free time. What are the activities that make you lose track of time? What are the things you find yourself thinking about even when you're not doing them? Those are usually good indicators. Step 4. Be honest with yourself about what you want in life. It's not easy to be honest with ourselves about what we want in life. We often have a pretty good idea of what we don't want. But when it comes to what we do want, we tend to get a bit fuzzy. Part of the reason for this is that we're afraid of being disappointed. We don't want to set our sights too high and then be let down. But if we don't have a clear idea of what we want, how will we ever achieve it? The best way to overcome this fear is to take baby steps. Start by setting small, achievable goals. Once you accomplish those goals, you'll start to build momentum and confidence. And as you gain momentum and confidence, you can start setting bigger and bigger goals. The most important thing is to be honest with yourself about what you want. Once you're clear about that, everything else will fall into place. Step 5. Embrace change and be willing to grow and learn new things. According to research, the average person only uses a small fraction of their brain's potential. That means there's a lot of untapped potential just waiting to be discovered. The key to unlocking that potential is to embrace change and be willing to grow and learn new things. Change can be scary, but it's also exciting. It's an opportunity to learn and expand your horizons. One of the best ways to embrace change is to have an open mind. Be curious and explore new things. Be willing to step out of your comfort zone. And when you make a mistake, learn from it and move on. 
Change is inevitable, so we might as well embrace it. Step 6. Take care of yourself, physically, emotionally, and mentally. In order to achieve success in life, it's important to take care of yourself, both physically and mentally. If you want to be the best possible version of yourself, you need to make sure you're taking care of your body and your mind. Physical health is important for two reasons. First, if you're not physically healthy, it's going to be difficult to achieve anything else in life. You need energy and strength to pursue your goals. Second, taking care of your physical health will help you feel good about yourself. When you look and feel your best, it's easier to believe in yourself and your ability to achieve success. Mental health is just as important as physical health. If you're not mentally healthy, it will be difficult to focus on your goals and pursue your passions. You need to be able to handle stress and manage your emotions. Step 7. Pay attention to your feelings. Your feelings are the biggest indicator of how you're really doing emotionally. If you're constantly feeling stressed, anxious, or angry, that's a sign that something needs to change. It's important to pay attention to your feelings and figure out what's causing them. Once you know what's causing them, you can start working on a solution. In a recent study by the American Psychological Association, it was found that people who paid attention to their feelings and took steps to manage them were more likely to achieve their goals. Step 8. Be aware of your subconscious thoughts. Did you know that your subconscious mind is responsible for 9-5% of your behavior? That means that the majority of what you do is determined by your subconscious thoughts. If you want to be successful in life, it's important to be aware of your subconscious thoughts. Are they positive or negative? Do they support your goals or sabotage them? The sad truth is that most people have more negative than positive subconscious thoughts. The good news is that you can change your subconscious thoughts. You can train your mind to think more positively about yourself and your ability to achieve success. If you want us to make a video on how to do that, let us know in the comments below. Step 9. Live in the present moment as much as possible. If you find yourself constantly worrying about the future or dwelling on the past, it's going to be difficult to achieve success. That's because success happens in the present moment. It's a result of taking action and making things happen in the here and now. The best way to achieve success is to live in the present moment as much as possible. Focus on what you're doing right now and enjoy the process. When you're fully present, you'll be able to give your all to whatever you're pursuing. And that's when you're most likely to achieve success. One simple way to live more in the present moment is to practice mindfulness. Mindfulness is the act of being present and aware of your thoughts, emotions, and surroundings. It's about living in the moment and not letting your mind wander. Step 10. Know your values. Your values are the things that are important to you. They guide your decisions and shape your behavior. If you want to be successful in life, it's important to know your values and make sure they align with your goals. Ask yourself, what's important to you? Is it family, friends, freedom, or money? Once you know your values, you can start making decisions that align with them. When your values and your actions are in alignment, you'll be more likely to achieve success. Conclusion As you can see, the key to life success is knowing yourself. Once you know who you really are and what makes you happy, you can start working on becoming the best possible version of yourself. When you're mentally strong and living in alignment with your values, you'll be more likely to achieve success. So, take the time to get to know yourself and start working towards your goals. And it doesn't matter how old you are, it's never too late to start becoming the best version of yourself. You deserve it. If you have made it this far, we really appreciate your support. Comment down below with the word, 100%, so we know that you watch the entire video. To learn more, check out our other videos that you see on the screen right now. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next one.